Hello children, let's start with the new chapter Production and Quality Control in Garment Industry. There are various stages of apparel production. First, procurement and inspection of raw material, cutting of fabric, assembly of the product, finishing and packaging. Besides this, there is an additional stage. This is called value addition means the process which adds to the cost of the product. This is by giving special finishes to the fabric. Example, sand wash given to the denim. Let's see different types of defects. The very first is yarn fault means the coarse ends and fine ends form yarns. First balls, loose fibers which are originating from the fabric. Slub, abruptly thickened location in a yarn because of soft twist. Next is weaving fault. Weaving fault, first bar, a distinct shade and a change of so short duration across the width of fabric is called bar. Bear, visual pattern of continuous bars. Next, bias filling, when filling yarns are not been at right angle to warp yarns. Board filling, filling yarns having curvature. Broken end, a warp yarn is missing for a portion of its length. Float, where warp and wet threads do not interlaced as desired. Kink, also called curl or kinky thread, when a short length of yarn doubles on itself. Misread, improper spacing of the ends of fabric. This is also called dent marks. Smash, an area where fabric is ruptured by simultaneous breaking of large number of warp threads. All these are weaving fault, dyeing fault. First, color run. The color on an area bleeds and imposed on the other area. Shaded, the color is not uniform from one location to another. Next, finishing fault. Finishing fault, we start with baggy, the fabric which does not lie flat on cutting table. Shape, area where fabric is damaged by the friction. Tentering marks, area along the edge of fabric is not even, also called pin marks. Next, uneven finish. Uneven finish when the finish is not uniform from one location to the another. Example, uneven glazing which adds uneven luster and smoothness on the fabric. Let's see what do you mean by EPI. Ends per inch means density of the fabric. It is when the number of warp yarns in one inch of woven fabric is calculated. PPI, picks per inch, means weft yarn in one inch of woven fabric. GSM, grams per square meter, means density of given fabric which is measured by its weight. Next, what is laying and cutting of fabric? This consists of five processes. First, markers plan, manually placing patterns, the pieces on defined width. This is to minimize the garment consumption. It is time consuming process and the best is when the planning is done on computer software CAD. Next, spreading. Fabric is smoothened and spread along the length of the table. This can be done by hand or by machines called spreader. Spreading process is called lay. 
नेक्स्ट मार्किंग patterns are traced with the help of markers cutting involves when the layers are cut smoothly using the machines like straight knife round knife band knife height of lay is dependent on cutting apparatus straight knife machine is the cheapest of all cutting apparatus last bundling cut pieces are bundled for stitching and embroidery or printing next what do we mean by assembly of the product garment pieces are sent to stitching or assembly section that comprises of different types of sewing machines the most common sewing machine is lock stitch machine or a single needle it is multi purpose machine which uses two threads to do the stitching the process of assembly consists of tailor system when the assemblage of garment pieces is done by tailor team working or module system when the assemblage of garment is done by team operators may be skilled semi skilled unskilled unit production system when the assembly process is broken into small unit operators and pieces are passed from one operator to another what is finishing and packaging Finishing means process involves final inspection, stain removal, repair, ironing, folding, which will decide final look of the garment. While packaging is done in many ways, hanger packed like coats and jackets, fold packed like shrubs, black suits, folded and hanger packed like trousers. for export all above types of packaging is used packing is the process of preparing any product for dispatch from one place to another example packing in cartons quality assurance in garment industry it means fitness for use it is ensured by adapting proper procedure of work manufacturing to the finished goods next selection and use of machinery training manpower example operators supervisors management using of machinery inspection of the product let's define quality control the process of problem solving for getting zero product defect in a product quality assurance the process of prevention of problem in the management quality management process of implementation and monitoring of quality system example tqm total quality management specifications characteristics of products which are required or desired by consumers example measurement standards characteristic of product example certified figures given by standardized and recognized by international agencies like color fastness of material tolerance limits to which the standards can be varied this is acceptable to the consumer with this we have finished our chapter goodbye take good care of yourself